Hey there, what's up guys? In this video, I will teach you guys how to use LSI Graph's keyword research. Once you have logged in and are inside LSI Graph's dashboard, insert your seed keyword here, choose your desired location, your desired language, and click on the analyze button right here. In just a few seconds, LSI Graph will direct you to the keyword research dashboard with all your keyword suggestions. Inside the keyword research dashboard, the first thing that you should see is all the data for your seed keyword. From the trends to the volume, keyword difficulty, opportunity score, the cost per click, the competition value and the semantic classification. And on the left, what you would see is the average average distribution of metrics for all your related keywords ranging from the total keywords all the way to the average competition value now back to all your related keywords the first thing that you would see is the search intent which is the purpose behind the user search it could be local navigational transactional or informational Next, we have the trends, which shows the trend of a monthly search volume in the last 12 months. Next, we have the volume, which shows the current monthly search volume for that particular keyword. The keyword difficulty, which shows the difficulty of ranking for a particular keyword. This is achieved by LSI Graph by analyzing the keyword's top 10 ranking pages. The lower the difficulty, the easier it is to rank for a particular keyword. Next, we have LSI Graph's proprietary metric, which is the opportunity score, which tells you the keywords you should prioritize in this list by processing factors like volume, keyword difficulty, and keyword length. The opportunity score, or OS as we call it, tells you which keywords would get you the most traffic with the least amount of effort. So, But here's a tip though, OS is relative. The same keyword may have a different score when placed in a different group of keywords. And next we have the cost per click, which is the average cost per click of the keyword on Google Ads. And lastly we have the competition value, which shows how competitive a keyword is on Google Ads. A more competitive keyword has more advertisers bidding for it. Now let's move on to the right side of the dashboard. You can see the SERP analyzer here, which displays the pattern that top ranking pages share. It shows you the metric and the structure of top pages for your seed keywords so you do not have to waste time analyzing each page manually. LSI Graph breaks down top ranking pages and shows you metrics such as the uh, search intent, the word count of these pages, the heading count of these pages, the number of paragraphs in each of these pages, the number of images in each page, the keyword density, which is the percentage of the time the seed keyword appears inside the content, the average loading speed for these web pages, and the estimated education level required to understand the content. By clicking on this drop down menu right here on the right, you can toggle the metric that is to be displayed on the SERP graph right here. Here's another trick though. Clicking on individual row of pages would bring you to the in-depth content brief of these pages and by clicking on this arrow key, it would navigate you through from each to each page. Now let's move on to the second tab, which is the topics tab. This uh, topic cluster automatically groups related keywords into clusters of topics to save you from having to manually group them together. Related keywords are grouped under a topic card which tells you how many keywords fall into that topic cluster and gives you an overview of the topic cluster's average intent, volume and keyword difficulty. 
having your keywords grouped together in topic cluster allows you to easily select multiple keywords to target. Pages that group related keywords into topics tend to be viewed more positively by search engines as it allows their algorithm to detect semantic relationship between different segments of your content. Moreover, it also improves your site structure by allowing their search engines and your readers to discover related content. Now that that is done, let's move back to your list of related keywords. This table here lists all the contextually related keywords to your seed keyword. You can sort the tables column on the top by clicking on the metrics that you would like to sort by. But if you wish to have something more customized and advanced, the contextual keywords list comes with a few advanced filter to increase the granularity of your results right here. And you can find them on the top right of your keyword results table. And at any point in time, you can simply click on this toggle button to turn off or turn on your filters. LSI Graph also has a long tail filter right here that lets you sort your keywords to show phrases that are made of more than three words and above. They are more specific and generally less competitive to rank for, so it's good to have this long tail filter right here. To download your list of keywords, tick on the selected keywords in the results table and click on this export button at the bottom left and you can export it in forms of CV, CSV in PDF form or you can simply copy them to clipboard. It is also good to note that if you wish to only copy a specific keyword to your clipboard, all you need to do is hover on your keyword and click on the copy button right here. Just for your information, if you are exporting your results as a PDF, you can create a white label report which you can customize with your company's own logo and name for white label reporting and you can customize them by going to the manage account page on your settings now that you know everything there is to know about keyword research you must be quite eager to start planning and writing your content hover over your selected keyword and click on this pen icon right here and LSI Graph will bring you straight to the writer with your target keywords field. If you wish to perform another search by using your selected keywords as your seed keyword, click on this magnifying glass button. Alternatively, if you have a group of keywords that you wish to save into a project, you can add your selected keywords to the planner by ticking the checkbox beside the keyword and then click on this folder icon on the right to select which projects to add your keywords to. You can either add them to existing projects that you have created or create a whole new project for your group of keywords. Now once you are done, LSI Graph would ask if you want to head to the Keyword Mapper or to continue to do your keyword research. And if you wish to research more, then you can click on this button right here. But if you wish to head to the Keyword Mapper, you can click this button right here. And that's it. We are done with keyword research. If you find this video helpful, like this video, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification button for more sneak peeks, updates, tutorials and everything LSI Graph. See you in the next video. Bye.